CEO Ron Winkler from Creating the Difference. Going to talk about some true ball reviews and kind of some of the processes that we go through uh, when we get brand new balls in. So we were lucky enough uh, to get the brand new Storm Fast Pitch. Uh, we got the top weight, we got the pin distance, and we also have the finish on this ball. This ball happens to be finished at 1,000 grit Aberlon. And one of the things that we like to do is check the grit finish of the bowling ball. Uh, it's already showing the ball. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that with this one. So we'll set the ball up and we'll give it three different scans and kind of see uh, how it turns out. So we'll start with the first scan. We'll rotate this around like so. See what the number is. So 295. All right, we'll do another one. And we'll talk a little bit about what this means and what we're seeing here. This ball is definitely uh, chunky. 295 again. We'll rotate in a different spot. And we'll do it again. And let's talk a little bit about what we got here. So 336. So we're going to kind of focus on the data right here, actually, and talk a little bit about that for a second. So what you're seeing here is actually various grit points along the way. So you can see that we're actually checking various spots along the way. And what we're most interested in is that average. So that average that comes over here to this 336 is what happens when you look at all the hills in the valley. So like there's some 180 grit, there's a 188 grit right there. And then over here, there's a 700 or 1224 grit. So we're looking for a couple of things. The average is very important to us. And then obviously how it compares to what the manufacturer says. So this ball being fairly low, uh, 300 when the ball is supposed to be around 1,000 grit Avalon, would kind of indicate to me that this is probably one of those balls that happened to be, uh, when it was on the sanding pads, those pads were probably brand new uh, or very close to new. And that's why the number is coming out lower than what we would expect. Um, also, if we take a little bit, a look at just a couple of different variations of the data. Um, we can look at what's called RS. Uh, we can look at what's called RA. Uh, and then obviously, you know, what we typically uh, tend to look at is the, is the grid of the ball. And what this is really showing you is a couple things. One, uh, the ball is fairly consistent. And um, you can kind of tell that because on average, uh, it's, it's uh, not got a whole lot of ups and downs, they're mostly fairly low. And that's kind of what this standard deviation number will kind of give you an indication of one. And then two, the other thing is that, you know, this ball is aggressive. So if you were thinking that you were gonna re, re put this ball back to the surface using a thousand grit Avalon pad, and you weren't using that same process that the manufacturer is using, you're probably not gonna be able to get that ball back uh, to this 330 average that we're seeing here. It was like right around 300. So I think it's real important to note that you know, if you get a bowling ball that you, uh, that you spend some time and adjust the surface of that bowling ball so that you can get something that's repeatable for you and for your gang. That way, if you like the bowling ball's performance, you can get it right back. And if you don't like the performance, you can adjust it. You could, in this case, you want to adjust it up. You'd want to go with the higher grit numbers because the higher grit numbers would be more length um, and then potentially more back in. Not so much more back in on a urethane ball, but more back in if it was a reactive ball. And, you know, when the numbers are this low to begin with, really the only way you can go is up. This being what they like to call their urethane formulation, uh, they tend to do more aggressive grits on those balls because they went to, want them to hook a little bit earlier because they're not big hooking balls. And they tend to work better on patterns that are sport patterns, that are flatter, uh, and or that are shorter. Well, anyway, now you got some more information about the scanning process that we do, one of the scanning processes that we do with uh, the True Ball Review System. And as always, if you have more questions or need more information, make sure you check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Creating the Difference. Have a great day.